Hello and God bless you young people. My name is Reverend Jared Reed Smith and I'm a minister here at the Mount Moriah Missionary Baptist Church where my pastor is Dr. Johnny Calvin Smith. Young people, God bless you and I'm so proud of you for taking time to study God's word with me on today. Now, as I always remind you, remind I'm reminding you to make sure that you're praying every day. Make sure that you're reading God's word every day. Read your Bible and make sure that you're trying very hard to do those things that will make God proud, that things that are pleasing in his sight. Now, I want to let you know, young people, especially those that are members of Mount Moriah, this Sunday is a very special Sunday. We celebrate our pastor for 15 years of service. So God bless you, young people, as we get ready to celebrate our pastor. God bless you. May God keep you. It's definitely my prayer. Before we get started with our lesson, let's pray. Gracious God, we do say thank you. Thank you for this day. Thank you for these young people. Lord, I pray that something will be said that will help them uh, to grow stronger in you. It's in Jesus' name I do pray. Amen. Young people, our lesson for today comes from the book of Exodus, Exodus chapter 40. Now, I'm going to put this at the bottom of the screen, of course, so just follow along. Exodus chapter 40, verses 16 through 21, verse 29 through 30, verse 34, and verse 38. And then our lesson topic is obeying by making the tabernacle. Our lesson topic, or our golden text, I'm sorry, our golden text comes from Exodus chapter 40, and we'll be looking at verses 16 and 17, Exodus chapter 40, looking in verses 16 and 17, and that reads, thus did Moses according to all that the Lord commanded him, so did he. And it came to pass in the first month, in the second year, on the first day of the month, that the tabernacle was reared up. And so in our lesson, young people, we're going to be talking about some of the first worship experiences that the children of Israel, uh, that they did. And one of the most important areas in worship and praise in worshiping God and serving God is going to be for them to be obedient to his commands. And you see, when we go to church every Sunday, it's not just for us to do whatever we want to do. There should be order. There should be a certain way in which we do things. Remember, I've told you all in the previous times that we can go to church and have fun. We can go to church and have a good time. But there's a difference between playing and having a good time. There's a difference, right? Uh, I can have a good time at church, but I don't have to play in church. There's a, there's a big difference between the two. And what they come to understand in our lesson today, that God had certain things that he wanted to be done when they worship him. And one of the things that they're going to talk about today is the building of the tabernacle. That was very important for God's people, for God wanted them to build a tabernacle. Now, what is a tabernacle? Well, this was a piece of furniture. Uh, that was constructed, that God had told Moses, the leader, to construct. It's kind of like a special a special wooden frame uh, in which God wanted certain things to be a certain type of way. Uh, this tabernacle would be a temporary, that means it was not permanent, it was a temporary um, thing that was brought that God wanted to be constructed. Now, I advise you, if you'd like to, if you want to go, and look at uh, certain pictures. You can probably see certain pictures. Uh, I definitely have one. I don't know if I utilize this picture, if you'll be able to see this. But when you think about the tabernacle, just think about a, a building or a structure, uh, and it had a tent around it. And so it was a very important piece of, of, of furniture. It was a very important piece of, of, of structure because this was what God wanted the people to do uh, when they were to understand how to worship him. One of the most important things was to build a tabernacle. So I would advise you, if you'd like to see what this looks like, um, that you Google, oh, what does a tabernacle look like? You can put tabernacle in the book of Exodus and look at some of the pictures and you can kind of see uh, what it is that I'm talking about. 
And so what we find is from today's lesson is obedience was going to be the most important thing. And if there's any lesson from that I can give you all uh, from this lesson that we have today is the fact that in order to worship God properly, it starts with obedience. It starts with a heart of obedience. And that's very that's very important. When you think about being in sports, when, it, when you think about being in uh, maybe even in music, it takes discipline, right? And one of the first where one of the first ways in which you know that a student is disciplined, like if you're playing baseball or football or or any sport, volleyball, whatever your sports are, whatever it is, it starts with discipline. Well, how do you know a student or a player is disciplined? Is when they're obedient to what you ask for them to do. That's how I would know if I was a coach. I'm not, but if I was a coach, I would understand that a person is disciplined because they are obedient. And so when we worship God, it starts with obedience. And so God wanted to be present with his people. And the way that God was going to be present with his people, remember, they are in the wilderness. They are traveling to this special place that God wanted them to go. And so there were going to be times when they were going to be camped out to get rest and to listen and get further instructions. And then there were going to be times uh, when they were going to be on the move. But God wanted them to understand that he was with them always. So he wanted them to know just how close he was. So God showed Moses in our lesson how to make a special structure, how to make a special place of worship that is called the tabernacle. Many people work together on this big project. It's kind of like building a house. It was a structure that was built so God uh, could help them to understand that he was with them at all times. God directed them in every step of the way to build this structure. The first step was constructing all of this many, place, this many parts to make this place of worship or to make the tabernacle. Then they were to put different pieces of furniture that were going to be special to make this to make this tabernacle something very special. Remember, we're talking like we're talking about a building. It's it's like a structure, uh, and this was going to be a very special piece of worship for God's people. Now you say, Reverend Jared, I really don't understand all of this. Well, the most important thing that we can get from this chapter in Exodus chapter 40 is A, that God told them exactly what to do, and B, they were obedient to what God wanted. And so we can draw and apply to our lives. We can take this lesson for our lives and know that whatever God tells us to do, especially when it comes to worshiping him, we should be obedient and do whatever God wants us for to do wants for us to do. So in our lesson, it's been almost over a year and the people are now starting the work on this special project. Moses led the people in gathering these pieces that they were going to need so they can make this tabernacle exactly, exactly like God wanted it to be. And so the Israelites made one very important piece of furniture. And this is what we're going to call the Ark of the Covenant. This Ark of the Covenant, God would show himself in a visible form by utilizing the Ark of the Covenant. Moses brought in a very special piece. Uh, this Ark of the Covenant was where the stones were to be laid. Remember, God gave Moses the Ten Commandments. Well, this was going to be a special, special space. And this was the most, uh, one of the most expensive, not expensive, but one of the most important pieces of furniture that was going to be in the tabernacle. Why? It's because God had made uh, this to be a special place. God planned for it and he made a room within the tabernacle that was going to be called the Holy of Holies. Uh, this was going to be a very special piece of furniture, a very spe special piece of this whole art. It was very important and Moses had to make sure that exactly what God told him to do in building this tabernacle, that it was going to be done the exact way. Well, not to uh, confuse any of the young people about the lesson, but how do we bring this all together? 
Well, because of their obedience, because they did exactly what God told them to do, then God was very much there with them. See, because we see in chapter 40, verse 34 and 38, that when everything was put together and set in place the way God wanted it, all of a sudden a cloud came over the tabernacle. This was visibly showing that God, A, was happy with what the people have done. They followed the instructions, but this is also God showing that he was going to be amongst his people. Now, I want y'all to think about this. Think about building something. If you've ever built anything before, think about the building process. It takes a long time, right? And so when you know that it's done and it's been done correctly, don't you feel good about it? Well, how do you build something correctly? You have to follow the instructions. And that's what God is teaching them, that if you if you follow my instructions, then as a result, I'll be pleased with what you do. And so in the lesson, they the people had followed the instructions. And so as a result, a pillar of cloud, now you all seen clouds before. Well, imagine over, imagine if you had a, uh, a, a barn or, or an outside structure. Some people call it a barn, or you may think about um, one of those small type of houses that you'll put uh, in the backyard, right? Some of maybe even uh, just a structure, a very small structure. Well, imagine that you're sitting there looking at the structure and all of a sudden a cloud came and was directly over that structure. Now imagine that that all of a sudden you look up and you see a cloud just sitting over that structure. Well, that's what happened. God was showing that he was present amongst the people. And when he was pleased with the work that they did for the tabernacle, for this furniture, for this structure, for this building that they built, God put a, he, he manifested or he showed his presence in the form of a cloud and it hovered over the tabernacle. Now, once again, if you want to see a picture of what that looks like, then just Google that and you can see what I'm talking about. But all of this happened because they followed God's instructions. That's what's the most important thing. They followed God's instructions. So what lesson can we get from that? I, I Hopefully I, I didn't bore you all with, uh, with this lesson about the tabernacle, but what can we get from this lesson? The most important thing that we can understand from a lesson like this out of Exodus chapter 40 is obedience to God's directions. And what, do, what God does is based on their obedience, God blesses their situation with his presence. And so we see that no matter what God gives for us to do, we ought to be obedient to whatever God wants from us. And so you think about, well, that was in the day. Does God come in the form of a cloud now? No. Guess how we know that God is with us? It's by the abiding presence of the Holy Spirit. That means when you believe in Jesus Christ, that the Holy Spirit comes into your heart and he lives there. That's the person that tells you right from wrong, the person that helps you each and every day because the Holy Spirit lives within us. Just like God was with the people in the wilderness, we have the Holy Spirit within us that helps us, that helps us to do the right thing, who helps us to make good choices, who helps us to remember that we are children of God. And so that is the lessons that we can learn. Most importantly, we can learn about being obedient to what God has for us to do. And God is pleased when we are obedient. And so we ought to show our obedience to him at all times. Why? Because of what he has done for us. God bless you, young people. I hope that you learned something about being obedient to God uh, throughout this lesson. Remember that we do have our Wednesday night Bible study at 6 p.m. and then Sunday morning at 11 a.m. God bless you, young people. Have a great week.